This is one of those heavy situations I don't usually like to talk about. Yeah, there's I a lot there. I usually aim for the goofier stories where we just kind of point and laugh at some well, connery I watch it, I watch it. some general down. dog shittery that's going on around the internet. But the situation that's happening... You know, you know, you know, you know before, before this fucking starts, okay? Before this fucking starts, guys, I, I see some of some of y'all posts on fucking Twitter, okay? And I get that, okay? Because I want to watch this, okay? Because one, because one it's 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 pretty uh, uh, high up in, in, in the Twitch community, okay? And um and two, two, uh, this hits pretty close, okay? And I would like to think, Amrit, as a friend of mine, okay? And three, and three, yesterday I was on Twitter, and I just said, seeing the outrageous things, everybody's saying... Oh, dude, dude, what do you mean hard work, hard work? It's not hard work. Like that, that's like a mental, okay? If you, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't deem what Amorant has built over the years as hard work, I'm telling you right now, you will never build or do anything that you would consider yourself hard work, okay? That's just, that is just as easy as I can put it, okay? What she's built over the years and the amount of effort that she's been putting in is very much so hard work okay it is it literally is okay it is hard work one day you guys are going to understand okay wait wait, wait. hold up hold up bitch hold up wait a minute i'm talking you bitch i'm talking all right all right all right let me compare i will compare i will compare only fans okay no i'm only gonna i'm just say only fans and hot tub streaming is the same as playing Winston. Is it? Dude, what a bad analogy. Okay. Everybody can play Winston. He's easy. He doesn't have to. He, 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 you don't have to aim. You don't have to move properly. You don't do anything, right? Everybody can play Winston, right? Everybody can get into a hot tub. Everybody can post pictures half naked, correct? And you say, that's why it's so easy, bro. If I was a girl, bro, I just post pictures half naked. I just be in a hot tub and make money. I agree with you. The same way, everybody can play Winston and do bzz, 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 without having to aim, right? It is the same thing, but, but, are you top 500 at Winston? No. Are you top 50 at Winston? No. Are you top 10? Were you ever rank one? Did you ever compete? Were you, did you ever win a tournament? No. Want well, to know why? Because in everything, you can become a master at it. And becoming a master at something takes hard work, regardless of how you see it, okay? Playing and doing something easy and becoming the best at it is hard work. It's competitive. Because if it's not you, it's somebody else. It wasn't somebody else. It was her. And it could have been... That girl, or that girl, or that girl. You know what, dude? It wasn't. Because, 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 because they didn't put in as much work, and they weren't as smart. That's how it is. That's the basis of it. Becoming a master or a rank one takes hard work. And I think that that's why she should be commended for the hard work. Even though you don't see it as hard work, it's how it works. You understand? Bitch ass. Also, and then, bro, this shit, look, look. I'm dry. I'm dry, man. One. And it is one that I'd like to talk about since I've seen some of the worst takes all of humanity's ever concocted surrounding this. Now, for those that don't know, if you haven't been on Twitter today, a lot of clips have been surfacing from Amaranth's stream from last night where she went live. Well, she was already live, but she unmuted during an argument with her husband over the phone. And this troglodyte sounds like an absolutely unhinged maniac. I watched the entire VOD to get the full context surrounding this entire situation, and I can say with a high level of confidence that this is an actual abusive lunatic. Now before getting into the clips, I want to make it known that I'm basing that on more than just the phone call argument. Obviously anyone with ears is going to reach the same conclusion because he comes across extremely abusive in the phone calls as well, but she goes further showing some of the damage he's done to the house in fits of rage. For instance, she said she locked herself in her room one time, and in response, he kicked the door in and shows the damage to the door, how it's all fucked up, it's now missing, like, the hinge and everything, and then shows damage to a nearby wall, and then also shows text messages that she received from him, threatening to financially ruin them because she wasn't replying to him fast enough. Now, last quick note before getting into the clips, I'm not Amaranth's PR manager, I'm not here to change your mind if you don't like her or her content, but you need to accept 
that just because you don't like someone's content, it that doesn't them. mean that they're deserving. One of those is fucked. This is something because they're married somehow, right? They're, they're married, right? And whatever she does, it'll fuck her over. Even though she plays her cards perfectly, it still fucks her over, which is, I think, really sad. ...of treatment like this. Abuse isn't okay in any circumstance. Just because you might not be a fan of her, doesn't mean that you can, like, wiggle your finger and celebrate that she's miserable or something. That's so fucked up. I've already seen a ton of disgusting worms blaming her for all of this and being happy that she's being abused because they're not a fan of her streams or the fact she has an OnlyFans. It's absolutely fucking despicable shit. Exactly. Because I'm gonna let you say what you think you heard. But then I'm gonna say what I thought I said. But you cannot interrupt mine because I'm not gonna interrupt you. What are you saying? Why did you say you were gonna kill my dogs? Okay, I can leave the- I, you know what? Actually, I don't- I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. The man's voice you're hearing on the phone that sounds like a nine-year-old getting his balls squeezed at the doctor Jesus. during a physical- I, 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 feel, I feel like this guy- this guy thinks he's like in a movie or some shit like that. What the fuck was that? That helium high screaming screeching voice, that's her husband. And he's melting down over an argument they had earlier. And I'm gonna tell you what it's about, but you're not going to believe me. I watched the whole VOD and I can confirm, based on everything I've seen here, this argument was because she didn't hear something he said. That simple. So he had asked her a question, she didn't hear it, and said, I didn't know you asked a question, basically. She said that, oh, you didn't ask me that question, but he believed he did. So her saying, you didn't ask me that, he took as a personal insult and it led to this massive blow up. Huh? That's what started this whole That's thing. That's it? Because she didn't fully hear the question, so didn't know what was asked. And in response to that, in order to prove a point, he threatened to kill her dogs. Totally reasonable thing from a rational person. I'll go ahead and play his side of that uh, statement. Why are you pausing? You didn't ask a question. You said a statement. Did you say that? Well, he, well, he's talking to himself, huh? Like, can we not, can we not watch this? Bro, this is like, this is like pretty close to our community, man. I'm, I'm watching it, man. If you know, if you're, if you're, if you're, listen, if this makes you uncomfortable, man, you don't have to watch it, okay? You don't have to watch it. Okay, this was broadcasted and covered and all over the news. I'm watching it. I'm covering it, okay? Uh, I, what, I said this. I said this. Stop. I said, you're going to tell me what you said. And if you... So Big Bang Theory over here hatched the genius idea, a galaxy brain scheme, to prove that she wasn't hearing everything he said, he then threatened her dog's life. His whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, major... I, I know, I know I'm know. i being obvious here, but a major, major fucking red flag, whatever the fuck, okay? okay so, somebody, somebody uh, threatening to hurt dogs or hurting dogs or animals... It's pretty close in resemblance to uh, it, it, it be, being about or close to hurting or threatening humans. Uh, I, I think I think it's like some really really a ba a bad shit. Like if if that happened, what well, you say? You say you say no shit. No, nobody knows this shit. Okay, nobody. Oh no way. No, you don't get it. You don't get it. It's close in resemblance. Okay, it, it, it's. Oh man, your motherfuckers are so annoying. Chess man. master checkmating move here oh, we do was, no, you I'm don't. going to threaten your dogs because I know you're going to focus on that as opposed to the other stuff I've said. You know, the same response everyone would have, right? Oh, you're not listening to me? I'm going to go kill your dogs. Oh, well, you heard that? Weird. You know, like, how dumb can you be? This man is just an actual psychopath. Obviously, she's going to focus on the thing where you're threatening her dog's life out of nowhere. He was upset because she didn't hear the question and then instead said you didn't ask it. If he ever even asked it in the first place, you know, there's no telling for sure. I wasn't fucking there. I wasn't a fly on the wall. But he's mad because she didn't hear the question. And then in order to prove his point that she just didn't hear the question, he threatens her dog's life, 
to show her that she focuses on emotionally distressing things more than his other statements. That's, you fucking dummy, everyone's going to be focusing on emotionally distressing things when it's a goddamn threat. And I said that because I knew when I say that, instantly you're going to forget what you said and what I said. Both. Well, it's yes, it's like a skid, though. Zoom out. Say my point. What? What are you even talking about? Awesome. You brought up the dogs out of nowhere. Exactly. So what? Point. What point is there improving? See, you're just proving my point right now. What? Are, I'm yeah. asking. Yes. I don't even understand what you're saying. What? I know. That's my point. This man really thinks That's he's classic, smart. You though. can tell just by the That's way he classic. carries himself in this conversation. He really thinks he's some intellectually enlightened being who just found atheism for the first time on Reddit or something. Like, this guy talks like the most pretentious douchebag you'll ever hear. As if his point is the only ever accurate one, and he's so benevolent, he even talks about how he's forgiven her for not hearing him sometimes. Like, what a saint. But I want to quickly address something a lot of, pe a lot of people crazy. keep bringing up. The sub-5 IQ take of... Well, she shouldn't have aired this publicly. Uh, all right, Dr. Phil. Jesus Christ. Uh, it, let's tackle that for a moment. Let's go over the reasons why she might want to air this publicly. This man has access to all of her accounts. He has all of her passwords. And in this conversation, even threatens to make fake tweets to ruin her career. And even goes as far as to typing them up, but doesn't hit send. She is basically his prisoner. Because she has tried to go to authorities, at least based on everything I've seen in this VOD, and she has recorded other conversations, but in response, she had her shit broken by him and had her phones taken away by him. Literally got physical with me. And then, like, fucking... Jeez, man. This trying to take my insane. phones away, because he's gonna destroy my PC when I record it. Now he's just trying to say bullshit, because he knows he fucked up, he just admitted he was lying. Fucking asshole. So she tried gathering evidence on her own, it was destroyed. She tried calling the police, apparently that didn't go super well either because he took her phones away. Like, what the fuck else is she supposed to do? I think this was a very good course of action here, and publicly airs it all out so that way this can help her in her case in getting away from him. Now, he didn't know this was being streamed, obviously. He was under the impression she had stepped away to take the phone call, but she came back after, I'm guessing, the threats against her dogs and just unmuted and did it publicly. And I do think it was a good, I, I think it was a good decision. I'm just drafted. I'm yeah. just it now. What do you say? She has millions and she can leave if she wants. So this is a classic, really, really dumb, dumbass mis misconception. Uh, one, she's married and I'm pretty sure they, they ran the business together somehow. Whatever you want to fucking call it. Okay. And I, I get it. It's not, it's a bit more entangled than that. Okay. But, uh, but I'm, they're, they're married, right? And, and running away from it, or it, it's not, it's not that easy. Like, it's not, it's not that easy. It's not. Yeah, 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 you guys have one guy, but it's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't care we're getting one guy. It's, 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 it, it, these, are th these are thoughts that I know people have. I'm just and addressing it. Fucking, You're dumb. Um, swatting of your husband and having your fucking assistant do it too. Wait, you said, wait, you said what? Um, swatting of your husband and having your fucking assistant do it too. You literally... Tried to take my phone. I got scared because you got physical, and I called. Yeah, but I'm tweeting it now, so. But so you're lying on my Twitter. That's gonna look real good. Sure, whatever. I don't care. I'm tweeting it. That's your. I'm Amber's assistant. Or I'm Amber's husband, and she is swatting me and calling the cops and calling it a false abuse claim. She's I didn't me. say you abused me. I called the cops because you literally chat. You literally were on top of me trying to take my phones from Wait, me. Wait, swatting me? Said it. You're literally just lying to my Twitter. Yeah, I don't care. I built the Twitter. Now you use my body to build this empire. And I'm gonna get your own fans banned too. So here he is admitting that he was just going to lie about a story to ruin her career and then get her OnlyFans banned as well. Jeez. So you can clearly see that he had access to all of her shit. And a lot was revealed here. The reason why Amaranth wasn't more public about her marriage is because he didn't let her. I've been wanting to tell people that, like, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's a fighting all the time. 
But no, Mr. I don't know. Don't say that because it's going to ruin the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. The reason why she started Wait, doing what? hot tub streams and committing the hot tub streams is because he forced her to. So a lot of this shit came out about how awful. Yeah, see, I, there's a bunch of like riddles in chat saying like empire, quote unquote, like lol or whatever. Like, um, that there, there's a bunch. You were saying like, uh, yeah, I mean that that is what you would call in this industry uh, an empire. Yeah, she kind of did though. Wait, wait, she's like number one like female streamer or um in watch hours by like an, an average of like fucking quadruple amount of anybody second. She dominates the, the OF market, pretty sure, um, by, like, doubling the second one, right? Over, I think overall she's just, like, she's, like, dominating multiple platforms at the same time, right? That is what you would call an empire. Yeah, that's pretty much it. ...of a person this guy is and how controlling and how... I'm not trying to be a shrimp. I'm just telling you that, that yes, that, that is what you would call building an empire. She's dominating several markets at the same time. She, like, yes. Scummy and shitty he is. It's literally, I was waiting for a response. You were just calling me crazy then. I didn't say you were crazy. No, 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 no. no. Dude, I'm gonna give you one last chance. I'm gonna irrevocably fucking destroy everything. I can tell you something that shatters you forever and I'll start tweeting about it. You know what's gonna cringe though? That's what I'm though? Is that he probably cares more about all this shit than she does, right? So you know for a fact these claims are kind of pretty much like baseless. Right, because how much of a little bitch he is being is being, is being about the whole thing is that he he's threatening all this shit, but he ca he cares even more than she does. So he's not gonna do anything. Fucking pussy. It's just it's just some pussy shit. It really is though. That's how it is. You can just tell in his voice. Why would you want to do that? I don't understand. Because you are literally telling me I did not say something that I literally I said. That's gonna be okay to let me. Right here, I'm gonna tell you right now, dude. You're about to lose your entire fucking life in terms of everything that's been built because you're too obstinate to just accept, nearly accept that you didn't hear a thing. But I'm already very forgiving about that. This man is so insecure, I, oh, sensitive, damn, and embarrassing. Damn, 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 he's giving her a pass a little bit. Dude, he's giving her a pass on the fact that she might have misheard something. Now he's giving her a pass. You're chilling. I, I'm being nice about this one. That I'm, he I'm just keeps believing that because she said you didn't say that, he is taking it as an insult against Jesus, his intelligence, and he won't stand for it. He believes that she is calling him crazy. And she might not be calling him crazy, but I, as well as everyone else who has seen these clips, is. This man is fucking unhinged. He is crazy. This man is nuts. And he's Jesus. downright dangerous, I would say. To be threatening the lives of his dogs also makes threats against our horses about how he's going to sell them to meat packaging plants or some shit. Like, the man is not... A safe person to be around. Now, one other also, thing I'd like to get in. Also, 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 the fact. Okay, let me tell you guys. If you depack, if you depackage this, you understand this, okay? If he already has a place to send the fucking the horses away or a place to 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 destroy something, okay? He already has these things already uh, 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 already planned, pretty much or pre-planned, right? Because it's probably not the first time he's ever done this. It's probably, he probably has a system of doing this over and over again, right? It's not, no, it's not only premeditated, it's that he's probably, probably done it so many times, right? That, that he's gone through the motions of building these things or, or, or patterns that, that he can threaten her with it. Well, I guess in question mark, this makes a lot of sense. Makes, this makes a lot of sense. Okay, not sure about that. That's just how it works, man. Like, what the, what the, what the fuck are you talking about, man? It's clearly not the first time he's done this. You could just, it, it just, it's just how it is. Before showing some more clips is the brain rotted You're take reaching. that keeps no, floating around about dumb. how this is all manufactured drama and it's fake Chicken for the tenders. sake of exposure and clout for Amaranth. And I understand why people like to take everything. Yes, I'm speculating. Who cares? With a grain of salt. I think it's a very good thing to always really try and hyper analyze everything to make sure that what you're getting is legitimate. Which is why I'm so surprised that after doing that, people still arrived at the conclusion that it's fake. Hey, what? You'd have to be clinically stupid to think that this is fake. Because in order to reach that conclusion, you'd have to ask yourself, why is it fake? What would be the goal? What would Amaranth gain from this? Ooh. And let's break that thought Ooh. process down. Fuck it. Can I say it? Can I say it? Can I say it? Can I say it? I'll tell you why it's fake. Uh, why could he fake it? So they can make the argument that he said earlier, right, that they, they could, for content, right, do the whole, like, 
relationship bullshit like explosion for content, right? But he said it's not time for that yet. He said, it. remember earlier when he said that? What? Guys, what? They literally said that. They literally said that. They said that in his video. They literally said, right? They could have done they, they could have went down that route, but but they didn't. Or he said not yet, right? I'm, I, all, I'm, all I'm saying is that the argument that, somebody could make, that it's fake or, or not or not fake, right, is that now he's doing that to, to make the thing have more uh, uh, talk, whatever. Does that make sense? Why would she fake it? She's already reached like the pinnacle of internet success. She makes over $2 million a month from streaming and OnlyFans. Like that doesn't even count like merch or anything. HS. So she's making plenty of money. So she doesn't need money. So that wouldn't... That was just for being a normal couple on stream. Lol. Uh, it's, it still matters though. Be a reason. She doesn't need exposure because she's one of the most popular streamers on Twitch and most popular OnlyFans models. So that probably uh. wouldn't make any sense. So why would it be fake? There's nothing to gain. There's only things to lose because now it's public that she's married. So that would be a detriment. Even though it's something she wanted to share, there are those delusional uh. weirdos who believe that by donating money to her, they'd get to date her. Like, that's, that's obvious. So this coming out doesn't help her in any way. There'd be no reason why she'd fake this for anything because she has True. nothing to gain from it. It's just a nonsensical take from people that clearly haven't thought about it for even an iota of a second. Man, we're like, we're in the house now. It's like, the next time when I say plan, do it. Dumb fuck, do you understand like, what plan you're talking about? It's like, fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't, and tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi-Fi. I don't care. You get the call now. Last chance. About to dump your luggage. You know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony. You're seeing to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or th or the the live view, like the stream epic, or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account. Your bank account too. Lag is terrible. Stream is garbage. Holy shit. About to delete Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, my phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Gonna donate $250,000 to Polo Missy. He's like a bird sanctuary he likes. In the next two minutes, 250k gone. We'll donate. Pretty alarming stuff here. Just look at these texts. Yeah, the man like is draining their sure. finances faster than a crypto bro Jesus investing God. in the latest shit coin. Okay, just dude. blasting Jesus. all their money down the drain. Just fucking shitting it away. <laughs> because she wasn't replying to him in a reasonable time. It should be obvious that this isn't healthy behavior from a sane individual. But if you need more evidence of that, let's go later into her stream where she starts showing some of the house itself and some of the damage that he's caused. Script of hell, U T H. You know what you are. I would lock my door, but huh? he broke that too. Oh hell nah. So, Jesus Christ. Best yeah. advice I can give that during my divorce, my grandma. Oh, shut gave. up, bitch. Shut the, the fuck. Shut, shut up, bitch. Shut up, moron. Don't know. Jesus Christ, and man. So I ran in here. Holy fuck. To call the cops, and you literally kicked Jesus the door Christ. in. Jesus Christ. Broke. Like this doesn't even have a hinge anymore. What an absolute nightmare. And you want to know what's really sick about the whole thing? There sorry, people... sorry, I get triggered, okay? I get triggered, motherfucker. I get TTS in my fucking head. I mean, oh, man, motherfucker, best advice. Shut up. Saying that she absolutely fuck, deserves it because she does OnlyFans. Can you believe how fucked up that is? And also, a lot of the things people shit on Amaranth for, like pretending to be single to get money from simps or whatever, isn't even her idea, apparently. It's her husband, who is controlling every aspect of her life, it seems. He has access to all of her accounts. He's the one who comes up with her schedule and tells her what to do on stream and all of that. So a lot of the things that she gets shit on is actually her husband doing it, making her do it. And yet Amaranth is the one that has to roll with all the punches. And then once she turns off stream after being insulted all day by a ton of people, she then has her husband insulting her and yelling and screaming oh, at her. Jesus Christ. Fucking unbelievable. The set of circumstances here are so incredibly sad. Like, just genuinely awful. And the stream ends in a really concerning way. I'll go ahead and play the ending of the stream to you. Hello. Um. Uh, I haven't gotten any calls. Huh? What are you talking about? 
Why would you ask me if I'm taking my This is a scene right out of a horror movie. The door is slowly opening up behind her. Someone off camera asking if she's taken her medication. I believe it's her assistant. But even Amaranth is confused. Like, why are you asking about the medication? You know, like, that that's irrelevant to everything. So the assistant knew what was going on here. And for some reason asked about her taking medication. I guess implying that, you know, maybe she's having, like, some kind of mental breakdown. But that's a fucked up thing to even insinuate because she's not having just some, like, mental breakdown. Her husband is yelling and screaming at her over an extremely minor issue and threatening to ruin her in- I don't get it. Um, she is mental. She is this- why, why is the video, like, um, like, like, blaming her somehow? Like, I don't give a fuck what the fuck she is. I don't give a shit what the fuck kind of mental problems that she has, you moron. Like- there are limitations to what you do as an individual towards somebody else. Even if you get baited, even if the, if the person is crazy, even if somebody is acting a certain way, there are limitations to what you can do when you are in face of something, whatever the fuck that is, right? That are still within, within the, 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 the realm of reason, right? Some of the things that this person is doing or saying or texting or some of the maneuvers that he's going through, right, are never okay. Doesn't matter what the fuck the scenario is, are never okay. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck if she... Oh, dude, but she's baiting on the phone. He doesn't know he's being recorded. I don't give a shit, okay? Because, because he's acting in ways that go beyond the scope of reasonable and go way beyond that nobody... If you are a decent person, you cannot get baited into that. You can't. It's not possible. Because you don't go over those limits. This person does. So therefore, I don't give a shit what she is or what she does. That person is unhinged. And as far as I'm concerned, as uh, unless you want to show me proof of, it, of, of his side or recording of his side, if she's, go if she's going out of her way, right now all we have is this. And I'm, judg I'm judging this. You speculating on the fact that maybe she's crazy is fucking annoying. Stop being a fucking intel Andy, okay? Intel Andy. Entire oh, career over it. Man. And making threats against her dogs and her horses. Like, th this isn't just some mental breakdown kind of thing where she, you know, she's off her meds, so now she's crazy. Like, her husband has made a massive fucking threat. Not only to her career, but the things she cares about. It's, it's, it's a very serious thing that most people would respond to in the same way. She's just doing it live, probably because she felt like she was out of other options. So, I think it's a really weird thing for her assistant to ask, and the door opening behind her, I think, is eerie. I think that is... It's... And I think somebody pulled the plug also, because she doesn't like she moving her, her arms towards the end stream button, right? It seems to me that somebody is in the house pulling the plug. So, I think that the person is talking, right? And then there's two people in the house. I guess you know what? I'm gonna speculate. I don't give a fuck. I think there's a two people in the house. In the house. Two people. One that's talking, and the one looking for the router, and the person is pulling the plug physically. Because, because, the string doesn't lag, it cuts immediately down to, uh, not like this, which is a buffer zone on Twitch whenever, um, you cut the internet automatically. Right? Right? And on top of that, it doesn't look like she's about to end, she looks, she looks like she wants to conversate on stream, on purpose, for whatever reason, I don't give a fuck why she wants to do that. Okay? And it immediately cuts. I'm being a detective. I'm being a detective. I don't give a shit. I'm speculating. I think somebody is pulling the plug 100%. I would say 99% sure somebody's pulling the plug. It's scary. She hasn't posted since this has happened. I, hopefully everything's okay. Um, but no one knows as of right now. But I think this is an extremely important situation. To talk okay, I'll play it again if you want. Why not? Wait, what the fuck's the clip at? Oh my god. Talk about because for some reason people are dismissing it as no big deal. Watch this. Which watch this, watch this. Hello. Look. Hey. Uh I haven't gotten any calls. What are you talking about? Why would you ask if I'm taking my Nope. Definitely two people. Nah. Nah. Definitely two people. Detective on the case. Uh, she went live early and said that the cops were there and ended her stream. Makes sense. I haven't gotten any calls. Dogs are barking too and shit, so I don't know. People would respond to in the same. 
The assistant is um, her husband and in on it. No, I don't think so. Same way. She's just doing it live, probably because she felt like she was out of other options. I'm going to so I'm gonna I think I'm it's a chat. really weird thing for her assistant to ask. And the door opening behind her, I think, is eerie. I think that is scary. She hasn't posted since this has happened. I, hopefully everything's okay. Um, but no one knows as of right now. But I think this is an extremely important situation to talk about. Because for some reason, people are dismissing it as no big deal. Which blows my mind. Like, like this is a legitimate case of abuse on stream here. And I don't know why people aren't saying it as such. Granted, most people are. But there still is a community of people that still think it's not an issue and that it's her fault why is she staying with an abuser you know she brought this on herself if you're in a toxic relationship just leave all things spoken by people that have never even felt the touch of another human being the absolute take worst takes imaginable this, uh, but yeah anyway sure i just wanted to talk about this a little bit Your mom said that's it about it like pineapple xqcl interesting um what does that say it says, um, talk, and then someone called the cops to be back later. Wait, was she talking about the whole thing? What happened? Yes, someone. XQCL. You streamers focus so much on negative outtakes. What do you mean negative No, I, I think, I think, it's not about negative outtakes. It's usually about, um, it's the fact that everybody, when, when everybody agrees with something, it, 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 it's not a discussion, right? You're just preaching to the choir. I think getting takes that are negative, or KX, thanks for the streams you have or, or getting takes that are like past three years against with something, my mental health. Uh, a crazy discussion. Feeling better, XQCL. Because a lot of people feel these these ways. Not not everybody says it. Does that make sense? Destiny's unpopular opinion. Just by virtue of what she was actually doing, which was streaming one side of a conversation. When she here's something that you should you should know this. Okay, if somebody is recording and you're getting a recording. Oftentimes mm -hmm. what's happening is one person has made the decision to record and the other person either doesn't know or didn't make that Welcome decision. The person recording is always going to put themselves in the best light possible. That's always going to be the case. Yeah, that okay? makes sense, yeah. I could wind the fuck up out of Molina and start getting recordings that are going to make her look fucking insane. She could do the same to me, 100%. And, you know, we can go back and I can be like, okay, Molina, well, what's going on? Why are you so upset right now? Come on, Molina. But, Steven, blah, blah, blah. you'd right. always come out innocent because you're shorter. Good one. Uh, I mean, so I just the, fact the, that, the fact that it was like a one-sided recording is already highly sus. The way that she was asking questions and baiting instead of engaging with a lot of what he was saying. So like he's going crazy saying some stuff and she's like... Okay, this is like um, a Destiny, like pretty dumb take. I like, I, I like some of Destiny's take. This take is fucking stupid. I think he's completely ignoring the fact. Nah, nah, I, I, I can hear him out as much as I... Nah, this is just a dumb take. Why? Because, because a lot of his behavior goes outside the outside the scope of acceptable behavior okay okay some of what she says he he, he literally approves some of some of the things that she claims that he did he literally agrees that he did those things and those things aren't like okay or they're like a massive problem if not a crime in 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 in, in, in just that one thing and there's a multiple instances of that literally there's a multiple instances of that happening when it's over one conversation right so at that point, it doesn't fucking matter if he's being baited. Who gives a fuck? Like, what are you talking about? She's like, Ooh. and then she'll be kind of chill for a while. And then like after like a minute not saying this, she'll be like, but why did you threaten to kill my dog? And she'll she oh, kind of like keep repeating that over yeah. and over and over again. Yeah. But hold on, wait. Oh man, he's so loud. Be careful guys. because that it could also just legitimately be her response. I'm not trying to say 100% what's happened or whatever. Um, but I'm just saying that's possible. And if you've only got one side of the story, you should be really careful. Another thing that complicates the fuck out of this is that if you're looking down the barrel of a potential divorce and you've got eight figures worth of assets to split up, assigning a fault for why the divorce happens could be a really fucking big part of that divorce. If there are tens of millions of dollars on the table here that might go to one party or another based on who's being mean to each other, that's another complicating factor that would make me wonder wonder what's being presented to the public. That's the only thing I'm saying. I mean, public, in in yeah. situations... I, I, th I, th I think... I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you guys are right, but... No, no, that, that, that is correct. But, like I said, things things like him him agreeing, right? And, and, and him not dismissing the, the take that he threatened the dogs or something like that was a good reason why a human would feel threatened for their safety and their survival in their own homes. When the when when the when the door's broken into, when when the, when the person doesn't dismiss or is anything about, about, about them threatening the fucking dogs or whatever, how does that not, how does that not play into that either? Like what the fuck? 
He never did. It was, an, it was an analogy. Back to streaming right as I hit 40 months. There's a, there's a million analogies you can make it. Two years um, excuse In a dialogue, me. without making an analogy about hurting somebody's um, pets, animals, and cherished beings that are live in your house. My juicer is back. Like, that is such a terrible defense to say it's an analogy. You're kind of dumb. I mean, uh, yeah, you're, that's just fucking brain dead. Um, someone called a Kazi Beck leader. Her husband has control over social media, according to what she's saying. Yeah, true. At this point, nobody knows anymore what the fuck's going on. I should have a mind. Twenty nine months. Rob again. Where her husband controlling everything? A little concerning. She didn't speak with short face at all. True. Did we ever actually see her? Nope. Fucking disaster. Stream went down three seconds after. Hope she's okay. I'm gonna stream disconnect. I'm gonna shutting down the stream down. Wait, what? Why did the stream disconnect? Come up with? Um, so you just pulled a plug, it is what it is. Either somebody pulled a plug, or somebody pulled, um, somebody closed a computer. The only way that screen shows up, is COVID. if uh, nothing, go through, nothing goes through OBS properly. Like, OBS just fucking disconnects entirely. Interesting. It's not, it's not interesting, but it's like, you know. Hi. Well, they, 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 there's like a billion threads about this shit yesterday. It, was that on the video, or was it like some missing ones? I'm not gonna skip it. Uh, I woke up this morning and I saw this stuff on LSF. And I got a little concerned about ammo. Um, I tried reaching her Let's out. Let's go and pack bounce. I didn't reach her out. Hope you're doing better, excuse uh, you. So I. Um, Can I get a I welcome a to the jungle? And the, the police can't tell me anything about whether or not she's okay. And that's literally all I can do. Uh, I would like to hear from her. I would really like that. Um, that's it. Jesus, this is fucking cooked up. Interesting. I reached out to Ammo. Don't she welcome back. that guy to the I did jungle. Get in contact he with is her one assistant. month behind me. And her assistant I have been said welcomed that multiple she spoke times. to Ammo this morning. Going? And that ammo was safe and okay. I, I don't know. I would take which it with a doesn't grain of salt mean much, yeah. Because at the end of the day, that isn't ammo. Yeah, real shit. It made me feel a bit better. Now, I reached out to ammo. She didn't hit me back. I did get. Ah, uh, true. To be honest, clip not available. Okay, man. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 will, I hope, I hope she's good. Fuck you, this is gonna, this is gonna cooked up. Yeah, dude. I listen. I don't, guys, listen. The problem is that, dude, like, she's married, like, fuck me, okay, this is so bad. Tell me what I didn't say, especially it's a context. Bro, it's so fucked. Like, dude, I would be so mauled. I would be so mauled. Well, not, I'm not watching it again. Oh, I, said that, oh, I, 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 I want to see, see the comments what people have to say about it. Yo, this is X. X on yeah. the beat, yo. Okay. Oh, my voice as well. That is. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy